Hey guys, welcome back to the ranch. Welcome back to the interior of this 2024 Chevy Tahoe. Um, this is the Tahoe with the 3.0 liter diesel engine. And we want to talk about installing an iDash from Banks um, to be able to get some more information out um, from all the lovely emission stuff on these systems. Now, there is no great wear, great wear, great place to mount these. Um, they make the suction cups to go to the windows. Looks kind of cheesy in my opinion. Um, so I found this company, their name is OZ Gauge Pods or OZ Gauges and they make uh, custom gauge pods. And I'll put the link down in the description of them. And I had them make one for me that actually uh, goes here into this side defrost vent um, where the bank's eye dash will then sit in here and it'll be nicely facing the driver and it'll look pretty factory and won't be such a big of an eyesore. So this is uh, the gauge pod that I had received. You can see um, they custom make it so you can get it for all different kind of locations if you don't want it for there. Um, what they however do is they mold it to your existing one. So you would have to pop this out and send it to them or do it like I did and just order another um, defrost vent online and send them that one. So that way, if you ever go to trade in your car or you're just wanted somewhere else or whatever, um, you still have your original vent and you can pop back in again. So you can see uh, this is the standard. It's a, a 52 millimeter gauge pod, um, you know, just like the Banks I-Dash needs. And they mold it onto your um, dash defrost vent. It is very cleanly done, very nice. You can just see on the bottom, uh, you can see how it's molded together. They still leave you two of the openings and they already make a hole here for you to run uh, the cable through. We will look at the cable routing afterwards. Now, the only downside is um, that they only provide it in primer or black because that's the only colors they have, but that's not a problem. I went and picked up some paint and I'm going to go ahead and color match this uh, to this here first. And after that, we're going to go ahead and look at the install. So once again, these are um, o OZ um, gauge, custom gauges. Um, they're based out of Rhode Island and it took um, three weeks was the turnaround time. Not quite, so super fast, super friendly. Just send them pictures of what you want, a uh, quick description of it. And um, yeah, it was $129 that was including shipping back. And I paid $7 to ship the original part to them. So all in all, with the new vent, shipping back and forth, it uh, cost me like $150, probably including the paint, maybe $155. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna get this painted and when that is all painted up, we will look at popping out this vent, putting this one in and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna route this on this uh, 2024 Tahoe. All right, so in order to get this little vent out here, it's just clipped in. And let's see, we're gonna use this little pry tool to push down on the fabric or on the dash pad, because it's a soft dash pad. And we're gonna slowly pry up uh, on it. I'm gonna try to get it. Right. There we go. We're gonna move to the next side. Slowly work our way around. Move to the back side.
and that's how you pop that out by default the new vent is going to come uh, with a hole here on the bottom you can see if we look on the inside of it that I have currently taped it up because I am going to actually be filling that hole um, that is so that you can technically route your cable in through this vent here uh, through the ducting and then pull it out um, through the bottom of the dash but I do not want to uh, attempt that I looked up underneath there is not a lot of room you cannot see where it goes through and I don't feel like snaking or pulling uh, out the dash so I will be routing the cable here along here where it's going to be easy to pull out so you don't have to do this you can leave this hole perfectly well open just because I'm in a rather cold climate or it's more cold than hot I don't want necessarily hot uh, air constantly blowing at the back of my eye dash uh, when it doesn't need to so I'm going to be closing up this hole prior to installation and I will be drilling a hole out the back and routing through like there now you can see the color match is it's a shade darker um, this is what I got it's what my local store had it is the rust-oleum satin nutmeg color it was the closest that I could find I don't have a lot of selection of stuff in town and quite frankly buying paint online isn't really that easy but I think it'll be fine it's definitely a lot better than the black was um, should I later on find a color that matches better for this uh, they call it maple sugar interior uh, maple sugar color black maple sugar uh, the combo should I find something that matches better I will update but for right now this is what I use in case you want to use the same if you find something that matches better uh, go ahead and leave me a comment um, you can see when they're directly side by side it is okay it is not bad um, not perfect but it'll do all right so you can see I closed the hole down here basically just took hot glue and filled it in I got my cable snake through got a little rubber grommet back here on the back and all I got to do is now simply snap this vent back in place start in the back get it down push the front down and that's that and now I'm going to go ahead and install the eye dash and then I can run the cables and that's it that's how you get a good looking eye dash in your 2024 or 2021 to 2024 Tahoe Suburban Yukon, Yukon XL, probably also Escalade. All right, got you guys off the tripod here. So this is how it's gonna look. When you're sitting here, the driver, you can see it is slightly angled toward you. There's your dash cluster. And you still got that vent going out. I got the cable, as you can see, running out the back. It's tucked in on the side here, goes underneath, plugged into the o ODB2 port, and the excess is zip tied and tucked behind this kick panel over here. I'll have the link down in the description for the o OZ uh, gauge pods. And I think this is looks really slick like this for installing um, these Banks eye dashes into these Tahoes and Suburbans and Yukons and all that. So I hope this video was informative to you guys.
If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks.